Louisiana Beer Reviews, Anchor Small Beer. This is another one of those beers that I bought in New York. I've never seen this around here. <clears throat> 22 ounce bottle. I bought this in the Bronx. And I even remember it was on Tremont Street. Um, I just walked in that corner store and had a bunch of malt liquor and stuff like that. And then I look and I see Anchor. I say, oh, find this. Uh, this was introduced in 1997 and it was first bottled in 98. It's 3.3 percent alcohol and it's really they process their barley wine style beer the one they make and then they re they rerun it with what's left over and you get this weaker version It'd be like running uh, water through the coffee grounds the second time um, uses pale and caramel malts and Golding's hops. Gets an average on Beer Advocate. The bros also give it an average uh, rating. So 23 out of 100 on rate beer, a 12 out of 100 for the style, so it's really not getting that good of ratings and very fine on the beer in me. Uh, I've never had it, naturally, but uh, we'll see. I guess it's very watery. If you ever get a chance to go to New York City, check out the Yankees. I've been there many times. Um, like I think 10 times to the old stadium and the new stadium quite interesting as you can imagine Yankee Stadium is going to be an A plus rated ballpark it's top I mean, it's as good as you can you can believe there's no downside to that place it's about as perfect as you can imagine and it's a cool neighborhood really where it's located I cannot show you all the memorabilia I have from Yankee Stadium. If you turn the video off, it'd be so boring. But here's a an example of program I got there, 05. So enough of baseball talk. Let's get to the beer. Whoa, a lot of smoke right here, and I didn't even tip the bottle. So you can see how lively this thing is. Woo! Ooh wee! 3.3% alcohol. This is so light. Thick enough head, huh? All right. Very thick. I'll say cream colored head, or you could say off white, maybe eggshell. I don't know. Something like that. It's not stark white. And a. I'm thinking it's going to haze up when I get to the bottom of this and swirl it. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> will it? Will it? There's so much sediment at the bottom of this bottle. Looks like a like cobwebs down there. <laughs> so, yeah, it's going to be hazy more than it is now. It's sort of hazy here. But you can see the bubbles and it's up. Uh, amber appearance. So this is interesting. Let's go with the aroma. Caramel, light, it's light. Toffee, maybe a little a little bit of tea, like uh, you smell in a tea bag. But you gotta really inhale to pick up a lot of flick, um, aroma. Let's go with the taste. So cloudy this month. June was sunny, and July has been cloudy and rainy. This is very bitter. They didn't have the IBU on the um, web page that I could see, uh, but I'm thinking it's got to be around 35 or more. It's bitter. You pick up a lot of bitterness from the start, across the taste, the sip, and to the end of the sip. But it's really kind of watery overall in the mouth. You do pick up some caramel, toffee, like I say, tea, but it's so light. Hey, really, this is like like a second run. It's like they brewed the stuff, they drained the water out, and then they added more water and brewed it again. So, I mean, would you really want to um, do a, 
a pot of coffee and then run water through it again, I don't think it would be too flavorful. <clears throat> Excuse me, the only thing I seem to retain is that bitterness. If you want to try a very bitter but otherwise sort of flavorless beer, hey, get this. It is good though, really. I have to give it a B. It's interesting. It's it's not dull. It's it's odd more than anything. A lot of these beers I do are strange, but I can't say that they're bad. I, I'm not gonna sit here and say I'd love to have this again, but I'm gonna say to you that I find it an interesting beer, and uh, that is an important thing to me. I like these interesting beers, so if you ever see it, pick it up. It's worth trying, but obviously doesn't hold a, a candle to their their barley wine style beer I mean that's that's a plus that stuff so anyway it is what it is but wait a minute isn't that what a coach says when the team is bad it is what it is now this is good so it's a B laissez le bon ton roulet this is a good beer <laughs> and I'm gonna end this review by saying y'all come on down to Louisiana <laughs>